this gym bag. This gym bag has been with me all the way up here, from my country to here. And the only thing I was holding it was my gym clothes. So, do you remember the video where I got kicked out of an exam? Because I was kicked out of a test. <laughs> Today is the reset. Or reset. I think it's prog I think it's pronounced reset. Today's reset. The reset. I have it in like three hours and a half. What I'm gonna do today? I'm gonna eat something because I'm probably won't have time to eat after after I finish gym. Yeah, I'm going to gym. I'm eating, going to gym, doing the reset, coming back to do my work. So I guess we have to start already. Just in case. So I finished work. It's six forty-three. It's seven p.m. As I was working, I was thinking about goals. And at the same time, I was talking with my mentors about how they achieve their their success in their life. And here's what they told me. <sighs> Perfect. Goals. What do you think about goals? Be honest with yourself. What goals did you set yourself this year? Did you say in this year that you're gonna make a million dollars or you're gonna make a hundred thousand subscribers by the end of the year on your YouTube channel or on Instagram on your TikTok? Or what are your goals? Because me, I have a few goals and I'm gonna share it with you. So here are my four goals I have I have on this slide. Money for time, grow my business, be closer to God, and grow my channel. Do you see a connection between all of them? You should see probably because they're interconnected. To grow, where is it? To grow my channel, I need to make money. To make money, I need to grow my business. Or I need to do a job here. And to grow my business, I gain experience. By having enough experience, I can trade my time for money. Money for time or time for money? Wait, give me a second. I really think it's time for money or money for time. I'm, I again, I apologize if I did it wrong. Let me explain it. My time, I want to trade it for money. I think I said it correctly. And God, really, he's interconnected in all of them. He's helping me with having more time, freedom, growing my business, growing my channel. He's the most and the, he's the pioneer point here. So here are four goals I have on this, on this 2024. Now, you see, I don't have specific numbers. I don't have, I want to grow 10k a month, I don't have, I want to grow 100 subscribers a day, I don't have, I want to charge a thousand dollars an hour, I don't have all of this. Why? Because, because I don't really think that being so specific is really necessary. And this goes to the first step. Don't set a deadline. Let me show you an example. This is you. You started on 1st January. Let's say hypothetically her zero dollars. You started on 1st January. You moved from zero dollars to five thousand dollars a month. Let's say by the end of July. You moved to five thousand dollars a month. Which is pretty good. Congratulations, you did it really well. You get to this point where it's the toughest for you. Because you don't know how to move on. You start, you run, you postpone the stuff, you gain back power, you start to do it, and you get to this point. You get to $7,500 a month. Well done. But here is November, and you realize you have one more month until you finish 2024, and you still haven't achieved 10k amount and your whole road is going downside because you couldn't achieve 10,000 a month. Is it good or bad? 
finished the year with $7,500 a month, not zero. Is it bad? Is it bad that you didn't achieve 10k a month? No, it's not bad. What's the point of doing all of this again? Why should you focus on specific numbers doing hundreds and hundreds of millions per year when you can just focus on the work and the work will give you results and this brings us to the second point work on the process and not the result you see a result is just a tiny moment of your life it's an hour two three hours a day in which day you could Sign a client who's worth $2,000 a month for you as a retainer. You close it, pretty done, well done. You close it, well done. But you have the whole length you had during this month of searching, searching, finding new people, connecting, networking. You just miss it out because you focused on this result. Now, this client you're probably gonna lose in a month if you don't bring enough value. But here, here you had so much experience and so many people you met. And currently, in five months half a year and a year from now someone from here will call you and you can say he wants to work with you and probably not only one but three four even five people because they saw you you brought a lot of value you work hard and the process here is engaging uh, doing mass outreach and so on finding your clients you should focus on this process because process brings you more pleasure than the result let me give you an example until i turned 16 or 15 i never could do a pull-up because my back was too weak. I could have done it, it was so hard for me. Now, what I did, I was training every day, every single day. I was doing negative, I think they call negative pull downs, pull ups, until my, I strengthened my back. And now, I think I did around 20 pull ups. I took a lot of pleasure from going from zero pull ups to 20 pull ups. And this, quite frankly, was the most exciting part. And the last one. <laughs> Celebrate small wins. This is so important. If you, you're not gonna do it, you'll just be depressed. Totally depressed. You'll be sad. Oh, I couldn't achieve that. Now I'm gonna be nobody. I will just be so sad. I won't do anything in this life. No, that's not right. You focus on small wins. Even today, I did the reset. I celebrated with, with some food that I like, watching a movie with Marlon Wayans. He's such a good, <laughs> he's such a cool comedian. I love him. I ain't trying to be a hater, you know, I, I like I like some of today's artists, like I love Jay-Z. I love... And I celebrated. On Friday, I have a meeting with a student. He was so excited to be with me. He loved it. He loved listening to me. He said this, this information is, is so cool for him. But I felt appreciated. I felt that I can offer value to people around me. Interrupting idea. You might ask me what's interrupting idea. Nowadays. And I'm not that guy who used to be nobody. I'm the guy who's even for so little in this society, I already can offer so much to this world. And I even know if I'm gonna work even harder for a full year from now, I'm not gonna bring on this amount of, of value. I'm gonna bring the whole <laughs> Mount Everest. <laughs> I'm kidding. The whole Mount Everest I'm gonna bring. Because I'm focusing on small wins. And I enjoy doing that. I enjoy doing that. For instance, a few a, a week ago, I deleted my new personal record. I was excited. I ate a Milka because, as I said, I love Milka. And that's just how we do it. You you focus on what's really important and not the result. So you focus on these three things. Don't set yourself a deadline. It's not worth it. You'll just be depressed that you may not have achieved it. That's why you have to focus on the process and not the result. The third, enjoy small wins. You're young. Even if you're in your 30s or 40s or 50s or 60s, you're still a human being. Your brain actually never grows old. Your brain remains the same from the day you're born and from the day you die. Enjoy being with your family. Don't forget that you you mean something this life. Your life is extremely important for someone. Your life is important for me. And your life should be important for you. And thank you for watching. Subscribe if you would like. Leave a comment, a like. And I'll see you as soon as possible. Oh, <laughs> my eyes hurt already.
I need the drink. Uh, I'm not drinking anyway, so 